Now then, how are we doing? Welcome to the den. Bit of a tag shave this. Uh, I thought I'd actually gotten away with this one because every time somebody did this particular shave, I kept quiet. I kept in the background. Didn't really comment. You know, keep the head down, keep the head below the parapet. But Mr. G's just done uh, a free tag shave and uh, he's sort of tagged us. So today, I've got to attempt the one-handed shave. <clears throat> what I'm using, obviously it's going to be a straight razor shave. What I'm using today is the Kismet. It's actually a hair thinner, made for thin and air. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but that's what I'm using. Normally comes with, it does come supplied with a guard, like a comb. So a barber will run it over the head, whatever hair needs thinning. And it just thins the air out, taking a lot off. Like a guard on an electric trimmer, as it were. So that's what I'm going to be using today. German, I do believe. And it takes these Kismet blades here. So, not mucking around. I've just lathered up some Gentleman's Face Care Club Caribbean Lime. It's a cream. It's nice. Very cost effective, it's and you can find this on Amazon and eBay. Gentleman's Face Care Club. So I'll just wet the whiskers and uh, see how I do. See how I do. <laughs> the things we do in the name of the shave. Nice scent. That's it. A light scent. It's not in your face. Very gentle, very subtle. And I think it's about six pounds a tub, if memory serves correctly. So it's very inexpensive. Sometimes I just like to use a cream, you know, for simplicity, speed, and uh, Quite often, you'll find uh, some creams are a lot slicker. Shall I add a little bit of water to that? No, it'll be fine. I could regret that decision. <laughs> so just clear the nostrils there. Right, it's also a talk on why I tradition why I traditionally wet shave. Nice, lovely blade. Second use of this blade. Well, I've got to be careful. I don't make the mistake of uh, using my left hand. It's uh, predominant hand only. Nice feedback. And as I'm uh, straight razor shaving around the mouth, I'm gonna keep it sat quiet. What do you mean, good? Yeah, so why? Traditional wet shaving. I suppose it goes back quite a while. There was, uh, I remember watching a film. Uh, oh, look at that. Old black and white movie, I can't even remember what it was called. Old gangster movie. No idea, as I say, what the film was called. But I always remember the barber and his movie. It's one where the mafia boss is in the barber's chair and he's, the barber says, you're a welcome customer, as long as you don't bring any trouble to my uh, barber shop. And 
Some time later, a load of uh, gangsters in black limos, Tommy guns, <laughs> shot the shop to pieces. But I always remember, because so I'm, I'm going down this side, and so as I don't want to blind myself with my arm, I'm going to use the bread knife hold. Hold it like a bread knife. So I've only blinded momentarily. I always remember the sound of the barber lathering up and the various lathering mugs. Because all the clientele, all the customers of this barber shop, have their own personal shaving mugs, you see. And that sound of the barber making the lava. I don't know, it just stuck at me. I don't know why. And it stuck at me for years. So much so to other sounds. You should remind me of uh, this movie. I know it sounds mad. Anyway, during my early life, I was in uh, served in the Royal Air Force, where I was forced to shave. But not now, it was lots of old beards now, and uh, I hated it shaving then. I would normally use my left hand for this. Whoops, <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? I don't know the things we do for YouTube. Um, when I was in the Air Force, I used to like to spend my spare cash on beer and cigarettes. I didn't want to waste the money on cartridges. <laughs> I kid you not. I had one disposable Bic razor, plastic Bic razor. And I think I used that Bic razor for months. The handle had broken off on it. I was just, there was a little stub, a stem of plastic underneath the head. <clears throat> I used that thing for months. God, my skin was wrecked. <laughs> so I eventually, Stayed in for a couple of nights <laughs> and uh, bought myself an electric shaver. And I was electric shaving for years and years and years. Every now and again, we swayed onto a disposable again, but uh, didn't like the experience. No good. I didn't know at the time. I was suffering chain rash, razor burn. So it all went back to electric shaving. Now, uh, remember, I was still serving in the Air Force. I was in the Falkland Islands, South Atlantic. In the early days when it was rough, there was no picnic there at the time. But I remember us all having a discussion about shaving an activity we were all forced to do. I remember one lad saying, The old granddad raises the best. They take those cheap blades with an edge on each side, they're the best. Well, maybe he's right. Everyone was laughing at him at the time. So some time later, I 
got myself this little travel dinghy. I don't know who it was made by. I can't remember, but I cut myself to ribbons with it because I didn't know how to shave. So I abandoned the idea rather quickly. Again, this is years later, I'm out of the Air Force now. I, uh, I kept seeing the black Wilkinson swords, the plastic ones, and the shaving brushes, and that sound of the barber laughing on that movie was coming back to me. So I eventually took the plunge. That's how I was shaving on and off for years. And uh, it would have been, I think it would have been about three years ago. Oh, well, now I, uh, I switched full time to the uh, that way of shaving. This way, but not this way, but the E. Because electric shavers, they just wrecked my neck here. My neck was atrocious, it was in the right old state. I had all sorts of weird growth sounding off my throat, my neck and all sorts. When I did shave properly, it was a case of uh, surgical exfoliation basically. I shaved all the crap off. Did a bleed? Fuck the damn right I did. <laughs> Like I was researching uh, what's the best way, what's the best razors, and uh, just happened to go on to look on Amazon and they were talking on DE. I didn't even know they were called DE razors at the time, you know. They were talking DE this, DE that. So I turned to YouTube. Mr. Ken Surfs was the first shaver, first wet shaving channel that I came across and I liked it. That was weird. So uh, it is weird with the right hand on this side of the face actually. So I started looking back at some of his content. Then became aware of uh, Paul H. Kevy. Others. And that's when the rabbit hole started. That's when I started collecting myself. Then uh, along came the pandemic, and uh, that's how I started my channel. Something to do, something to occupy me. Most of us sat at home doing nothing. A little weeper there, nothing serious. It is a sharp blade. Feeling good. And I haven't looked back since. I didn't realise that there would be such a strong uh, shaven presence on the internet, YouTube, Facebook. So I was quite surprised. I'm a, it's a great community, <clears throat> very friendly. Made some good friends all over the world. People, we send each other soap samples, we 
send each other raises to tryouts. And, and I know for a fact that there is people who are sadly afflicted by certain illnesses who do actually look at traditional shaving videos as a therapy. So far so good, let's see how we go against the grain. Both going against the grain on your cheeks. And so far, I've been right-handed all the time. Whoops. You got a bit of a rinse. Yeah, and some, uh, so I'd say it's just such a friendly community. I wouldn't say it was cost that's uh, prompted me. I'm just sick of my skin being in an atrocious condition. So now I'll just cut it to pieces instead. <laughs> like an LED there. Uh... Yeah, I felt that blade wanting to go in. Lovely. So the guys with we shaved a goatee area with straights. It's a bit more of a challenge for us. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I had a goatee. Okay. It's going to be a tricky side now. Maybe. That's what they do, me. Rinse off, cold rinse. Bit of a sting up the water. And uh, as I say, being in the YouTube community now just over 12 months. Nearly 550 of you have subscribed, which I am eternally grateful for. It's much appreciated, makes it all worthwhile, makes it fun. And keep the request shaves coming, please, because it saves me deciding what to shave with. <laughs> Sometimes a tough decision. Yeah, so. Uh, well, YouTube, it's been uh, it's been great for me. It's uh, been entertaining. Same met new people, new friends all over the world. Have new conversations with people. I have conversations with people about like wet shaving. Like you can't go to work and speak to your colleagues about wet shaving, can you? They'll look at you as all your star craving bonkers. You can't go to the pub and start talking about wet shaving because. You probably find yourself sat alone in the corner and all your mates will have uh, pretended to go on outside for a cigarette and that'll be the last you see of them. 
So uh, yeah, it's probably the Facebook forums, the community, it's probably the only place where you're going to get uh, valuable information, people sharing the same experiences. So you what, I haven't used this for a while. I've got a ton of this stuff, never year two phase. Because I knew it was going out of uh, production, I uh, stocked up on it. So I haven't used it for a long time, so I'll give it a whirl. Good stuff, plenty of it. Ouch! You get a really sharp sting, but pretty much straight away, the second phase kicks in and smooths everything down. So that, my friends, is that. That's the uh, one-handed shave tag. What did he use again? Gentlemen's Face Care Club, Caribbean Lime, cream, nice cream. Nice. Oh, I didn't show you the brush, it's too late now because it's covered in gunk, but it's the uh, Simpson T3 that was whipped up in my executive shaving super duper size lager in bowl. And the shaver for today was the Kismet hair shaver. Just one little on the lip there, but uh, apart from that, success. So I'll just Set this Bluetooth trigger to go, and thank you very much for watching. Thanks for all the likes, all the subs, subs. It means a lot to have you here. Take, take care, stay safe, stop getting tongue-tied, Jim. I'll see you all further down the line. Bye-bye now.